Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the thanks button. I'm going to do a series of Washington Commanders pieces here in the offseason about tough choices. Because it's not always a simple thing about whether you want to re-sign a guy or not. And I thought probably number one would be Cameron Curl. Now, you say, well, of course you want Cameron Curl back. Well, I don't disagree with that. Seventh round pick, started four years, did 16 games last year. Statistically had his best year, 115 tackles, five defense, one forced fumble. Uh, the numbers were good. I, but personally, I didn't think he had his best year. I thought he was a little bit out of position at times. But still, you'd want to bring this guy back. You can't replace everybody. But here's the problem with Cam Curl. He's a free agent. And... You know, they can franchise tag if they want them, but that's going to be about $16 million for his position. And that's not the money you want to spend on this position or him. Now, is the agent's going to say, well, if you want to keep us, the tag number is $16 million. That's got to be part of the deal. That's a real problem when you let a guy get the free agency is they always want to go with the franchise number as their first one. And then you do a long-term deal for more. But no, no, you can't do it. You can't do it for this much. And so maybe you just got to let him go and it's going to stink. But, you, you know, you only have so much money. Yes, they do have a lot of money, but it, this isn't the one to spend $16 million on. So I think Cam Curl is probably their toughest offseason one. Yeah, uh, bringing up another point, a lot of people lately have said, I didn't know you had a book out because I have a lot of new subscribers to the channel and all. And it is uh, 100 Things Commanders Fans Know and Do Before They Die. You can get it on Amazon uh, there, big, or you can get it from me and I'll sign it for you. So just leave a comment underneath uh, here and say, hey, Rick, how do I get it? I'll explain it to you. It's very simple. You can do it on PayPal and Venmo. I'll just had tell you where to stick the money. And I'll sign for you and get it right out. So why not? I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.